Oh, I've been back again for another story. This one is from a friend of me. The Dalek went after the fairies of my forest. He was once one god. Listen to the name of Kron. He was one of the fairy gods that commands human sacrifice. Now the day, now human sacrifice is not longer something that is improbable in human culture. He have taken one physical form, the Dalekun, or the Headless Horseman. Let we start with a story. It was a rainy, cold evening. In the forest of my country, there was a lot of misty weather, and the houses burn a little bit on the misty way to the to exhaustion of their houses it was missed. I so uh, if I for many times walk to the forest and look for strange things. It was a long time after the story of the next time that happened. This actually some hundred years far in the future. Hundreds and thousands of years. Humans no longer live only on naked apes. Don't live only on camps by fire. They live now in little villages. Told each other stories about fairies. That some of them worship. A lot of them, actually. I and my friends of the forest have gone the same one more similar relationship. There are now farmers and are eat not little meat anymore. And only in the winter there are sometimes and so uh, I have not to become so angry again. So one of these evenings when the mist was high I look back sides and I heard some footsteps on my back I think what's this? What is it? Now I looked in after. Now I heard it again. I look after. I say, Daniken, in you dance. Because other fairies don't have to afraid. Be afraid for uh, the telecom. We have to we have contacted Fairies don't hurt each other and fairies protect each other. And so I go after the this forces. I hide after a tree. One very nice tree, black tree, with a little bit of of um, sump on the 
body of this tree. Then I look after the bar of the tree and see. Yes, was the delicate. But it was also somebody else. The delicate was after somebody else. He riding on his riding on his horse. So if he do so much others always times. I see this woman man a young man actually. I think he was one of the princes, the young, one of the human kingdoms, or the human um, villages. Um, then, because he has a nice, the most on his face, and he doesn't see if I work so hard to make his burden on his community. I walk with the voice of the wind after Delican and his next victim, the Delican. He comes closer and closer into foot steps of the of his horse, of his dead horse, and dead horse. And the human now seems to hear it. I don't have you to remember that the elves have better ears here than uh, humans. We can hear you noisy folk from mouse. Okay. The delicate. comes closer and closer to the human. The human now blinds his eyes, but the cast the delicate goes after somebody that you can hear him, you can see anybody that sees the delicate can die, go to die. The delicate is one man with a hat on his shoulder. He holds it as one trophy, as one helmet with him. The delicate have also an iron armor set. Iron boots, iron armor. Completely black with a little bit shine. You can watch for him. His horse, very skinny, ghost like, with red eyes, but the most fastest creature in the whole. The land. Nobody can escape the delicate. Only other fairies do. No mortal. Now, I think it was not so good idea to pick this prey. So again, to mic my noses. So that uh, he know that there be not a fairy. That is not the time now for this human to die. The Dalekin comes closer and closer. I may mean, do it again. That's the language of a Dalekin actually. The Dalekin hurt. He answered me back. The Dalekin said, 
that's it is time for this man to die. He needs his offering. He needs its sacrifice. Because this Dolligan needs human sacrifices once in a while to stay alive. Spectacular around Halloween. When in early days. He get his sacrifices from his worshippers. To reveal his power and his fear. So, I have to say... Back. That he... It is the time... change. No, we don't want to put it. So the Dalekin go after him and I let it go. It is not my kind of problem. So I say to Mars. Humans, I mean most I can of course. Not all. In just objects. One big part in a whole spell, in a whole game. So I go after that and walk away. The Dalkin now and the man is close to the run to the ground of my hole. He's close to his hole. It seems that he maybe can escape. Delicate and get always what he wants. I don't know what his second was actually. Which the delicate who can I get after him? He cannot get after him. I see the glow in his eyes. He wants to kill him. He wants to kill him. These rules of fairies, that's fairies that can one have to interact with other fairies. So I don't can do some things big. But now I see one little story. That was an old man. I see one old man close behind close behind the young man. Maybe I can change Delican. Yeah, what want you? I speak in common language. That means that he's close to his prey. Can you instead to kill this prince, kill the old man? And he takes his life. Yes, I do it. What you say? How can I? I'm close. Take it. Make a life of the old Then I'll go after the old man. 
and take his life with his sweep of human bones and put on a bag of blood in the house of the old man's family. That's the burden to protect the human from the devil. So don't try to escape the devil because it can take the whole life of someone. is the most strangest of all the fairies and the most dangerous they've been even more dangerous than us the secret